Okay, so this is really bizarre looking. I've decided to um, put four arms on my system. And just for kicks, I wanted to see if I could just, with a solenoid, uh, per my friend Rod, who's got that solenoid Wankel motor, see if I can just, you know, pulse a magnet in and out and make this thing turn. Um, <laughs> I'm getting some bizarre results. It, I actually got it to work, but it's really slow. Um, I've changed the magnets back to uh, repel mode so that it repels this, but I can't go, get it to go in the direction that it should be going for repel mode. It'll go in the opposite direction using this guy. So let's turn it on. And that's about the best it'll do. It is noisy. And I've got this little um, uh, commutator made out of razor blades from Andrea. He put it up there on his website on how to do it. Because I burnt out all of my... All of my... Um, Read switches, which probably would have worked a lot better. So this is a mechanical version, although it is being, you know, pulsed by um, electricity, or it's being activated by 12 volts. I'm not going to go with this. I'm going to stay with my forearm system, but it was it was at a point where I just wanted to see if I could get it to go, because I had a bear of a time. Uh, and it, it doesn't really stay going. It'll, it'll, I, I had it going for a few minutes. Um, see it's going now, but it'll get out of sync just for a second and it'll stop. This guy won't, won't pull back or something. But I just wanted to see if I can actually do it. And this thing took a lot of work, man, <laughs> for nothing. Well, I guess it wasn't for nothing. It taught me a few things, which is all I'm really going for. All right. There it is. Let me see if I try to go the other way. Come on. It wants to start going back. I tried all kinds of things. I tried putting a copper strip on the on the end of this guy, and um, it just you know. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the forearms. Fill the spiral back. Actually, I'm gonna collapse the spiral a little bit to make it a lot tighter. Um, I think I'm gonna get some more torque out of that, and I did that by cutting out this spiral diagram which is about the same size as this it's just tighter and um go back to my my old setup which is this guy which was sitting there um i'm just going to use two two magnets on it you know that spiral i mean that the double rotor thing with the little um and instead i'm going to use the um the Bandini coil instead of using a little motor. I actually built a really nice coil, iron filings in there, it works great. I beefed up my Daffman circuit here. Um, so it works and it works really nice. And I'll show you that guys in my next video, okay? So Rob, sorry about that. <laughs> I know it's kind of pitiful. Um, I really didn't put a lot of thought into it, so I actually, I'm sure if I put more thought and more effort into it instead of trying to do this push-pull design, I probably could have gotten something a lot nicer, more in lines of your effect. All right, let's see if we can get it going again. Come on, oh, wrong way.
All right. That's it.